This storybook for kids has simply made over $19,900 in passive income on Amazon. In fact, you can also create your own storybook from scratch using artificial intelligence and start making passive income online too. But don't worry, I'm not going to show you how to create a generic book with ChatGPT and leave you without knowing what to do after creating it. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create an insane storybook using AI and how to publish it, as well as show you a way to sell that book. So, stay here with me until the end so you don't miss anything. I'm not going to ask you to subscribe to the channel or leave a like now. If you feel that this video generated value for you in some way, you do that. Without further ado, let's get started. Step 1. Searching for a good idea. To create your book, you need a good story. You can simply ask ChatGPT for some good storybook ideas. But if you simply ask this question, ChatGPT will not give you the best ideas, as it is a very generic request. Understand that, although ChatGPT is a great ally, it won't help you much if you don't know how to use it. In this case, do what I'm going to show you. First, tell ChatGPT that you are thinking about creating a book of children's stories on the internet, and that your goal with this book is to make your readers feel engaged with your story and read it until the end. Then ask ChatGPT what they think of all this, in addition to asking for positive and negative points. This will make ChatGPT give you information and ideas that you probably weren't thinking about, and it will give it good context for the next questions you ask. Okay, now ask ChatGPT what is important for you to think about in relation to creating this book. This will give ChatGPT even more context for you to come up with the best possible ideas. Now ask for 10 ideas for catchy titles, thinking about everything you've already presented to ChatGPT. These 10 ideas that it showed are probably the best possible because you knew how to wait for the right moment to make your request. I still want to make a more detailed video on how to use ChatGPT in the best way possible. But to summarize, when you have the patience to give it the right context, it will always give you the best answers and information possible for what you need. It is important that you keep this in mind. You know what? We may have an even better answer for choosing the subject of the book. Ask ChatGPT the following, thinking about my objective and target audience, rank the ideas in order of greatest chance of working. Okay, now you can have an idea of what the best story choice can be made and what might work best. Now that you've chosen what your book will be about, let's continue. Step two, creating your story. To create the story itself, Let's continue in this same chat. Now, ChatGPT has even more context and information needed to deliver an excellent story rather than a dull one. Okay, right after you ask ChatGPT to rank the ideas that might work best and you choose which suggestion you liked best, pay attention to what you need to do now. I liked this third option here, so I'll use it as an example. Tell ChatGPT the option you liked, then Ask for 10 strong starting suggestions for this content. Carefully read the options that were provided and choose the option you like the most. I like this third option here. Now tell ChatGPT first which phrase you like the most, then ask it to create a fun and captivating storybook structure for this content divided into four chapters and to write three main topics on each chapter. Notice how interesting the chapters are. This will make your book stand out. Now let's create the whole story, and you'll see how amazing it will be after all these requests made to ChatGPT. Okay, now ask it to create a rhythm story for Chapter 1, but not too long. Then do the same for all chapters. Look how the story turned out. After all the context and information that was passed on to ChatGPT, it couldn't be different. It looks awesome. And you created this story just by knowing how to use ChatGPT in the best way possible. Okay, now that you've created your story, we can go to the next step. Step 3. Creating your illustrations. Now it's time to bring your story to life, and you can do it completely for free at Leonardo AI. With this AI tool, you can create all the illustrations you need for your book without having to pay anything. I'll show you how. Check it out. 
First, create your account on Leonardo AI. It's very simple. I'll leave the website link in the description to make it easier for you. In my last video, I taught you step-by-step step how to create the best images here on this platform, but I'll summarize. Here on the home page, click on Image Generation. Now click here on Leonardo Diffusion and choose Absolute Reality. And then here, choose Creative. Okay, now your illustrations will be as realistic as possible. Now simply come here and choose option 4 to generate 4 images. Now go down here on the page and put this dimension option here. These settings require more credits to be spent, but on your free account here, you get 150 credits per day. Okay, now all you have to do is enter your prompt here to start generating your illustrations. Remember we asked ChatGPT to give us a structure for this book divided into chapters? That's right, we'll use the three main points that ChatGPT gave us for each chapter as a prompt. Check it out. Go back to the chat where we created the story and look for the part where you made this request to ChatGPT. Now copy this first point that ChatGPT gave you in the first chapter. Paste here to use as a prompt and click here to generate. Look how these images turned out. I like this one, now just download it. Pay attention now. Before you make the rest of the images based on each point in each chapter, you need to make these other images in the same style as the first one you chose. To do this, go here to Image Guidance, enable this option, take out this photo, and then add the image you downloaded. Here you can leave it at 0.20. Okay. Now, repeat the process of copying each point from each chapter and pasting it here as a prompt to generate all your other images. If you want, you can repeat the process I did here, but with the initial configuration of Leonardo AI, which uses fewer credits and you can make even more images but they will have a little bit lower quality than those I presented here. Okay, after you have made your images, I recommend that you download all of them to be enough to create all the illustrations in your book. What before you would have had to pay hundreds or thousands of dollars to do, now you can do it in a few minutes for free. That's crazy. Artificial intelligence is really here to stay, and for you not to be left behind. It is important that you know how to use it. Step 4. Creating your storybook. Let's use Canva for this. I'll leave the website link in the description in case you don't have an account. Here on the home page, click on Create a Design and search for Storybook. Here on the left, go to Upload and then Upload Files to add the illustrations you downloaded on Leonardo AI. Now click on the first illustration and adjust it. You can add filters to the image to make it even better. Then, return to the same chat where we generated the story. Here, go to the part of the chat where you asked ChatGPT to create the rhythm story for the first chapter. Copy this first part of the text here. Go back to Canva and go to Text, then choose Add a Heading. Now paste the text you copied here in this first scene and adjust it. You can also adjust the text into any shape you want to make it more attractive. Just to make it clear, this book I'm making is just an example for you to guide yourself and know what to do to create your own book. Okay, when you're done, come up here and click on duplicate page so that this other page has the same style and you only have to worry about changing the illustration and text. Now replicate this for the rest of your story. Actually, if you put some effort into this part, you could create a much better book than the example I'm giving here. Okay, 
Now just come here and save your book as PDF print. Your storybook is finished. Step 5. Optimizing your book in SEO. The story you created in your book may be fantastic, but it won't do you any good if you don't care about SEO. Search engine optimization is what will make your book appears for people to buy. First of all, choose a good title for your book. Again, you can use the same chat on ChatGPT where you created your story. After so much context, ChatGPT can deliver you the best SEO optimized titles for Amazon. First say that you want to sell this storybook on Amazon and you know how important SEO is for a book to have sales there. And then ask him to give you 10 SEO optimized titles for that book. With a well-optimized title, now worry about the description of your book. Everything sold on Amazon needs a description. And if that description is keyword rich and SEO optimized, it will help it appear more to buyers. Again, go back to ChatGPT and ask for it. Request a SEO optimized description with keywords from your niche for your book. I recommend that you add even more detail to this description and make this description even clearer about your book. Although it may seem obvious, be sure to choose the category and subcategory of your book carefully. In this case, your category could be children's books and the subcategory children's action and adventure books. This will make it much easier for readers to find you. The more you pay attention to everything I told you here, the more likely your book will sell and generate passive income. I said all this because there is no point in creating your own book from scratch with the aim of generating passive income. But when you post it on Amazon, that book will be forgotten and have zero sales. So pay attention to that. Step 6. Posting your book on Amazon. First access Kindle Direct Publishing, Amazon's exclusive website for publishing digital books. You can use your Amazon account to log in or simply create a separate account here. I'll leave the link in the description to make it easier for you. Here it asks you to complete your information, do so. Here in this panel, click on Create. Choose Kindle eBook. Here you need to fill in the details of your book, such as title, description, your name, etc. Remember that SEO is really important here. This is perhaps the most boring part of the process, but it's actually simple. Fill in everything necessary. Don't forget to inform that the book is for kids and then adjust the category and subcategory of your book. When you're done, go down here on the website and click Save and Continue. Now upload your book here. Here, in this part of the cover, you can use the option that Amazon provides or you can simply choose an image you created in Leonardo AI. If you want to add more things to the cover, feel free. In this part, you fill out that you used artificial intelligence to help you make this book. Okay. Now just go down here and click Save and Continue. Regarding the price of your book, I recommend that you don't make it too expensive. Take into account that you didn't spend anything on creating your book, so that alone means you're in profit. Do a brief market research. Search Amazon for other books in the same niche and set the price you want. When you choose your price, come down here and publish your book. I don't have the option enabled because I didn't complete my account information, but you did this at the beginning of this process, so the option will be enabled. Okay, now you can start earning passive income and you simply used artificial intelligence platforms to your advantage in the right way, especially ChatGPT. But look, don't think that just because you've just published the book, you'll have sales from today. It is not how it works. Be patient, monitor the results, and improve your book more and more. Now, if you really want a way to boost your sales, you can create an automated shorts channel in the same niche as your storybook and sell this book through it. If you want to have above average results, this is a great strategy. And as I said, 
it is an automated channel, a channel that you will just need to know how to use artificial intelligence platforms to create it. Do you want to know how to create a channel like this and use it to boost your storybook sales? Click on this video that appears on the screen and apply all the step-by-step -step instructions in it. Thanks for watching this far. See you in the next video.